Minister for Health and I are confirming the government's decision uh, to increase tobacco excise. This is a decision uh, which makes a contribution to returning the budget to surplus in 2016-17. But even more importantly, it's a decision uh, which has a big impact on the health of Australians. We look closely at this, we look closely at the evidence. Last time there was an increase in the tobacco excise, it led to a reduction uh, in smoking of 11%. Substantial evidence that that's the case, despite some of the commentary I've seen this morning from others. Uh, we've looked at the evidence from uh, doctors, from the Cancer Council, uh, that this could stop a very considerable number of people smoking. Uh, and I've seen figures in the vicinity of 200,000 people from smoking in Australia. And particularly important, stop young people smoking, taking up the habit for the first time. So this, I know, won't be universally popular with all. It's a difficult decision. Uh, but a decision which is taken in the best interests of the nation, uh, taking into account all the impacts it has, both on the government's budget and also on the health outcomes for Australia. Know what this is. This is just another tax. Uh, the government is promoting this as some kind of a health measure. Wrong. It's a revenue measure. It's just another tax. It would only be raising $5 billion or so if people are to continue to smoke. So let's not listen to this palaver uh, about health. This is all about revenue. It's all about tax. It's all about a government that can't control its spending. That's why it hits you in the hip pocket.